We begin with an update on the breaking news that we brought you earlier this morning. We now know more about what led up to the shooting and the suspect on the loose. Let's go ahead and bring in ABC 10 News reporters, reporters here in Cenas who is live in University City. Sarah, you've been there all morning and you now have an update on both of these suspects that were involved in this morning's shooting. Yeah, Vanessa, let's start with that suspect who's still on the loose this morning. Now, police say that he is described as a Hispanic male in his 20s, about six feet tall. When they last saw him, they say that he was in a black hoodie and a blue mask. But let's take a look here. This is where the violence all began. Officers say that two men were trying to break into cars here. When those officers approached the men, they took a run for it. One of them actually ran this way fired shots at officers, and that's when officers returned fire, wounding him multiple times. People who live in this complex say they heard a whole clip of bullets ring out. I just heard the cop say get on the floor, and a couple seconds later, I heard like a whole clip go off. Alina La Jolla residents are on edge after an officer-involved shooting turned their home into a crime scene. My fiance was asleep at the time, and she didn't know what was going on, but... She had her earplugs in when she was sleeping. I was like, hey, uh, might want to get behind a few walls here. The could get hit by some stray bullets. You know? Investigators say San Diego police were originally called out to the apartment complex because two suspects were trying to break into cars. They say two officers approached the suspects who were in a stolen car. The suspects took a run for it in different directions. The officers ran after one. That's when gunshots rang out. It appears that the suspect uh, fired at least one round uh, on towards the officers. Um, prior to that, the officers had given verbal commands and identified themselves, told the suspect to stop. No officers were injured, but the suspect was wounded several times and was taken to the hospital. He's expected to survive. The other is still on the run. He's described as a Hispanic male who's about six feet tall in his 20s. For residents, this isn't an everyday occurrence, but it leaves some opening the door to conversations about moving. I mean, it is La Jolla. It's kind of rare that you run into these kind of uh, scenarios. <laughs> This is the fifth officer involved shooting involving San Diego police officers this year. The Alina La Jolla complex is now open for people to drive through, but investigators are still on scene investigating. They're asking any witnesses who saw the suspect get away to come forward and talk to them here on scene, or if anybody has any ring camera footage that you can even call Crime Stoppers. For now, live in University City, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.